Hey Dynamics 365 ers it's Benitez here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can allow your users to apply filters in Dynamics portals. The scenario is your users are viewing a list of their information in Dynamics portals and you would like the users to be able to apply a filter. And you can do this without any code in Dynamics portals. So don't let anyone tell you that you do need to use code because you don't. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Chrome. And of course, we are going to be using my lovely Westeros Recruitment Dynamics portals based on Game of Thrones. So in case you haven't seen any of my other vlogs, this portal is based on recruitment. So people just apply um, to work in one of the seven kingdoms and they pretty much select a position that they want to go for. And the view that I've created for the users is that they can see their applications that have not been submitted and also see applications that have been submitted. And as you can see, it is now displaying all their unsubmitted applications in this view. But I can't really apply any filters. And if I click on the columns, it's only going to do sorting. But I want to be able to filter this list down to only see um, let's say my applications based on the Kingdom of the North. Long live Jon Snow by the way. Anyways, and for them to be able to do that, you can enable what we call metadata filter in Dynamics Portals. And what the filter allows the users to do is they can select which information they simply want to be displayed in the view. So, I'm now in Dynamics 365 and we're looking at entity lists and the one that we want to update is called My Applications. And in an entity list, you can enable the metadata filter as there is a section when you scroll further down and over here we've got our metadata filter. So you simply tick this checkbox, so I've accidentally left this unticked. Um, and then you can select the orientation. So do you want it to appear horizontally, so above um, the list, or do you want to have it displayed vertically? I'm going to go with vertically just because um, if you're familiar with buying clothes online, uh, such as shoes or dresses, usually you can select the size and the style, and that's usually on the left-hand side, so I'm going to go vertical. There is also... Um, the ability to change the label of the apply button so I'm going to leave it as apply and as we scroll down this is where the magic happens this is where you actually specify um, the fields that you would like the user to be able to filter by so if we click on lookup set now the reason why I'm selecting lookup set is because these fields that you're seeing in here they are lookup um, fields in Dynamics 365 and then I've got my status reason that is a drop down field but because I have another view that will only filter to show submitted applications I'm not going to use this as part of the filter I'm just going to simply use um, the kingdoms and the programs so that is why I've selected the lookup set and if we scroll in here it's going to say okay well which which one do you do you want to use for the lookup? So I'm going to select Kingdom and then it's going to ask you, okay, do you want checkboxes, radio buttons, or a drop down list as a style? I'm simply going to go with checkboxes and you can also display, sorry, you can change the display name, but I'm just going to leave it as that. And now when you click on options, this is where you'll be able to select the different values that you would like to be displayed in that filter. So it gives you the flexibility in being able to only display the records of the lookup that you would like the user to see. So if you don't want your users to see every single record that you have in this entity, you can simply select which ones you would like the user to select. But in this example, I'm just going to show you all the kingdoms. And then the other cool thing is you can add more than one type of filter. So as I mentioned earlier, the next one that I'm going to pick is um, filter by program. Leave it as checkboxes 
And this time I'm only going to select um, the programs that are already showing in the view. So we've got Hay Collector, a Swordsmith. Yeah, you can tell I'm a Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> and then we've got um, Moon Door Operator, and then How to Kill with a Whip, a Charming. Okay, so now when I click Save Changes, and we go back to My Applications, and when I refresh the browser, we're now going to see it appear on the left-hand side. Ta-da! So as you can see, I don't use any code. I simply went into the entity list record in Dynamics 365. I enabled the metadata filter and I selected the type of filter. So in this case, as you saw, I selected the lookup set and I defined the criteria. So the, the list of records that could be searched on. And I added in another um, filter lookup set. So now if I click on the north and if I hit apply, it will now only show those two records in that list. And if I wanted to select um, another type of filter, so uh, the secondary filter program, and let's say I go with Hey Collector and I hit apply, it will now apply. And let's say you wanted to change the display name of the label. So I could simply rename this to search. And then if I go back to portal and I refresh the page, you'll see that it has um, relabeled the label from apply to search. And that's all for me today. That was my quick tip that I wanted to share with you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.